Thank you, um, Mr. President. I want to thank my colleagues for the passionate and rich debate that we've been having on House Bill 1307. And when I think about my good colleague who, who sits on the Health and Human Services Committee from Douglas County, right? Yeah. I always appreciate the passion and the commitment and the tenacity that you bring to issues that, as it relates to health care issues. And so I want to thank you for that. And for my colleague who is on this side of the aisle, I also want to thank you from Jefferson County for the passion and dedication that you also brought to this topic. Whenever you stand on your position and your values and your beliefs, there's always a reaction to that. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, whatever. But I find that my colleagues don't waver. If they believe it, they believe it. If it's their value, their val it's their values, and they're going to speak on it. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm supporting House Bill 1307. And the reason I'm supporting this bill is because I know that one in four Americans are on some type of prescription drug. And we look at people of color, a high number of people of color are taking all kinds of prescription drugs. And some of it happens to be on insulin. And when you think about the cost of insulin, it has tripled the expense, as far as I'm concerned, that endangers people of color. Because if you look at the statistics, the majority of people who, who may be diabetic happen to be black, happen to be people of color. My family has a blood, bloodline of being diabetic. My great-grandmother was blind from having diabetes. My mom had it. My mother had it. My father had it. My cousins had it. So there's a long line of history as it relates to being a diabetic in my family. And sometimes people are having to make a choice between do you pay for your insulin or do you pay your rent? Do you pay for your prescription drug or do you buy food? Do you ration your prescription at the expense of your own health? It's not easy to be poor. It's also not easy to be black. <laughs> but it's not easy to be poor and not being able to afford your prescription drug. I see people walking up and down Colfax all day sick. And so the senator from, from Douglas County, I appreciate your narrative as it relates to why not cancer? Why not this? I, I think that those are good public policies that we need to present, but right now this bill is about the affordability as it relates to the prescription and the pricing and the access 
to insulin. So when you heard the chair say things like, that doesn't fit under the bill title, because it didn't. But all the issues that you brought up have merit. They still need to be discussed. There are issues that need to be addressed. So I'm not here to say that those uh, concerns that you brought up are not re relevant. Seven million people in America that have diabetes can't afford their prescription. I have not had a chance to do the research in, as it relates to the people in Colorado, but this bill is really about saving lives and making sure those who need to have an emergency supply of insulin so they can maintain their life. So members, I urge strong support for this bill. It's not all inclusive. It's not broad sweeping as it relates to all the illnesses that are out there. But when you say things like some of these corporations can't fund or support, there's already discounts already. I know of hospitals and shoots, UC Health. If someone can't afford their prescription drugs, they find a way to give them access to the life-saving medication that they need. We live in a society that's about a social contract. That's about doing the common good. And sometimes the common good means that corporations have to give back to society. Because not everybody is privileged. Not everyone has the means and the resources to buy their medication. Read the bill. The way I read it, it's not complicated, it's not burdensome, it's reasonable, and many of these organizations and um, companies are doing it already. When you have so many private profit organizations, Many of them do what they can for the community. It could be a food bank. It could be providing insulin. There is a sense of social responsibility as a private organization that we give back to those who are less fortunate. That's what we do. And that's okay. Have you seen people begging on the streets? Some people might give them 10 cents or a dollar. We have people that have all kinds of needs out there. It's okay for private organizations to give to people who don't have the resources to give. Would the good center from Arapahoe County like to be extended to your next 10 minutes?
I'm done, Mr. President. Thank you for the time.